5 seconds to go start in according constitutional status to the nagar palika we are but responding to the joint resolution passed by the central council of local self government and the all india council of mayors pleading for the conferment of constitutional status on the urban local bodies ministers mayors and other elected representatives of the opposition parties including political parties represented in this house today and those that have run away were represented in these bodies ranging from the cpim to the bjp and taking in much that lies in between official spokesmen of all these parties have again and again asked for constitutional recognition for the nagar palikas as recently as in their representation to the national commission on urbanization the calcutta corporation headed by a cpim mayor argued that a country wedded to grassroots level democracy must bless its local institution with a constitutional status they went on to say that this bold initiative would become much more meaning meaningful if the roles functions responsibilities and obligations of various levels of government are constitutionally defined and i cannot resist quoting also their categorical conclusion that urban problems can not be solved without giving local governments their rightful place in the country's constitutional framework itself what has happened to change their minds let me phrase the question in a different way what has happened to change their principles is it that they are getting too used to the company of those with diametrically opposed ideologies and those with no principle or ideology at all we have heard the argument that there is no need for a constitutional amendment to bring democracy to the grassroots and endow power to the people it has been argued that what is needed is political will i respectfully submit that it takes more political will to amend the constitution than it does to pass a municipal law i would also respectfully submit that our constitutional amendment creates the necessary political will where that will does not exist there is no place in any of this for a holier than do attitude no party in india can claim an unblemished record in local self government equally there is no major political party in india which has not something to its credit in regard to local self government there are some congress governments 
दैट हैव डन बेटर दैन अदर्स दो देर आर सम शोर्ट फॉल्स विच कैन बी रेक्टिफाइड इक्वली देर आर ओपोजिशन रन गवर्नमेंट्स विच हैव डन समटाइम्स बेटर दैन अदर्स समटाइम्स वर्स इंडिड समटाइम्स बेटर दैन देयर ओन पास रिकॉर्ड वाइल समटाइम्स फॉलिंग शोर्ट ऑफ देयर पास अचीवमेंट आवर अप्रोच टू द पंचायती राज and nagar palika bills has been non partisan we have drawn from the experience of all we are be holden to all we now bring forward a bill which makes democratic decentralization to the nagar palikas a keystone of the country's constitution having discovered that there is an irresistible grounds well of popular support for the panchayati raj and nagar palika will bills one opposition party has now come up with an alternative proposal for a constitutional amendment the proper forum to table such amendments would be the floor of this house but since the party mainly responsible for these alternative proposals has failed its democratic responsibilities their proposals cannot even be considered let us see what happens in the other house where in glaring contrast to their behavior here they cling like fixer to their seats then there are the purists of the opposition who say that in no circumstances will they have any truck with constitutional provisions for local self government their purity is however called into question when one discovers that as recently as at the february this year a joint meeting of the central council for local government and the all india council of mayors the delegations of the telugu desham government of andhra pradesh the left front government in kerala and the left front government of west bengal were all party to a resolution which demanded a constitutional amendment in relation to the nagar palikas there are yet other constituents of the national front who demanded at the 11th joint meeting a uniform statute for all nagar palikas in the country how can there be a uniform statute without a constitutional amendment and even assuming for a moment that this is achieved by some legal debate the essential differences between a constitutional amendment and a municipal statute remains the consequences of a constitutional amendment can not be retraced our proposals would enshrine democracy in the local bodies in the most sacred basis of our modern nationhood in contrast any model bill will have no binding significance for state legislatures and no guarantee of outlasting changes of party or personality 
if we really want democracy and devolution in the nagar palikas there is no alternative to the kind of constitutional amendments we propose the starting point of the nagar palika bill is the recognition that those who live in urban settlements are entitled to the same democratic rights and the same rights and responsibilities for development stop